What is up guys? This is Godlike Matt and welcome back to another episode of Smash Brothers and today's a real special day because the two new DLC characters just came out, Corinne and Bayonetta. And in this episode, we're going to be covering Bayonetta. And I'm absolutely picking her in her Bayonetta 1 costume because I'm way more of a fan of that one. I know a lot of people would probably be like, what, what, uh, what, but, but her hair. Now, I don't give a shit. I like the outfit more in the, from the first game. What the hell am I doing? Oh my god, I picked up stage mat. Jesus! Okay. So you uh, you uh, boys and girls ready to learn how to play Bayonetta? Uh, so, Bayonetta, uh, I've, I've toyed with her a little bit in practice already before I started recording. And uh, she's... The biggest thing I have to say about her is that she takes a crazy amount of getting used to because she's unlike any character in this game, not even in the slightest. She feels like a foreign entity to, to this game, like she's that different and it's fucking crazy. So if you want to learn how to play Bayonetta and you're interested in her, get ready for a huge learning curve because that's exactly what you're going to get. This character is so different from everyone else in the game. So uh, we'll go over her moveset first. Her standard A-Jab is pretty damn awesome, because it goes on for like 12 decades, and it's it's pretty cool, it looks fancy, it's awesome. Then you got your side tilt, which you can, if you keep repeatedly doing, you can combo into a uh, three-hit succession, like so. And uh, next up we got down tilt, pretty standard move for uh, comboing. Range on it's not the greatest though. It's okay. It's all right. It's pretty fast. Her up tilt, uh, pretty much the same, but the war the range is like way worse. And it pretty much does the same thing down tilt does, which is set them in an upward fashion. But down tilt is just better because it reaches farther and comes out fast. Yeah. But uh, obviously up tilt's hitbox would be more useful for let's say an enemy coming in from above you, like someone jumping at you, this would be more useful. Obviously, that's that's uh, that's obvious. Uh, now, before I get on to the rest of her moves, something you might want to know is, if you did not know this already from the trailer, which explained it when Bayonetta was first announced, every time you hold an attack button, she keeps shooting. So, like, you could get really creative with it. And that goes for pretty much every move she has, as you can see, even her side tilts. If you hold the button after pressing it, she just keeps going. It's pretty freaking sweet if you want to rack up a lot of damage. Uh, that's her dash attack. It's like this super mega body check. It's kind of slow. The range on it's pretty beast, though. Um, okay, so that covers that. Uh, we'll go into aerials now. So... Bayonetta's down A in the air is the standard fucking dive kick, except it goes straight down. It only covers below her. And it's like one of those moves that you have to commit to, because you can't cancel out of it with any attack. And when you do this move, you have to commit to it, because you cannot cancel the animation. So once you do this move, you want to make sure you're going to hit the stage, because if you do this... You can screw yourself, unless you're high enough, like I am. I can uh, save myself, but if you do it too low, as you can see... I can't, oh, I bounced off the wall, so I still got that. Pretty sweet. But, yeah. It, needless to say, it's like Zero Suits, uh, Dive Kick, Sonics. You just gotta be really careful with it. Um, and then we got her Neutral A. Uh, it's just a standard, like, keep, keep the fuck away from me move. But the thing is, it only hits, like, in front and behind Bayonetta. So the bottom, as you can see, like, I don't hit until I'm right in front of Corinne. Uh, so it doesn't hit below her, and it doesn't hit above her either. So that's her neutral uh, air. Forward air is uh, awesome. Because it's, uh, it's a three-hit combo, much like her forward tilt on the ground, as you can see pretty sweet and it's great for racking damage obviously it's a combo tool and then you got her up tilt which is your standard uh, you know up kick much like zero suits 
except it's a little slower. Um, but if you hold it, she like goes crazy with it. Ah, it looks so fucking cool. It looks awesome. Now the hitbox on this move is like not generous at all. They have to be above you, and it comes out kind of slow. So there's a good chance they'll just fall right through you when you do it. Like for example, let's uh, send her up in the sky. Like look how easy it is to miss this move. Watch, see? Like you hit her up, right? And then you're like, oh, I'm gonna get her! And then she, like, flies right past you. Be cooperative, computer. Be cooperative. And one more. There you go. Oh, see? She, like, flies, falls right through you. So, you know, you want to do it really preemptively and, you know, time the jump correctly. But, yeah, so... Her aerials are... Meh. It's not really where Bayonetta shines. Um... Uh, so the rest of her moves, let's get into smash attacks. Um, her forward smash is a really hard hitting move, and the hitbox on it's kind of insane. Uh, it's easily her best smash, because the hitbox is just crazy and it's really strong. And uh, her up smash, uh, the thing about all her smashes is the hitbox is just fucking massive and insanely huge. And uh, all her smashes are pretty pretty decently good. But the thing is, all of them aim in a very specific direction. Like, her up smash is only in front and above. It covers nowhere behind me or directly above me. It's in front and above. So, you know, you gotta be positioned correctly. Uh, her side smash acts like any uh, side smash would. And then you have her down smash, which is in front and below. So, unlike most characters in Smash, um, she can't cover both sides of her body with her up smash or her down smash. So, it makes it kind of hard to punish somebody, especially if, like, let's say you want to read a dodge roll from someone and you want to fucking hit them behind you when they go behind you, but you can't. So, y you'd have to side smash. But yeah, that's one thing that's kind of shitty about her side or her smash attacks. So that kind of sucks. Um, but, you know, they're hard-hitting, huge hitbox moves. And another thing that's nice about her down smash is it, it uh, spiked. If I can get it to go off here. God damn you, Corinne. Like that. It's a spike. You could send them flying straight down like that. Heel stomp of amazingness. Oh, I forgot to do her, um, her back air. How, how the hell can I forget? Jesus, what is wrong with me? Uh, her back air has the same problem as her forward air. It comes out slowly. There's like some startup to it. It's got some delay. And unlike most of her moves, it's just a one hit. So like, it's okay. The range on is pretty nice. You gotta time it like fucking perfectly though if you want it to hit. And uh, like all of her other moves, you can hold it. And it keeps you. Yeah, man. All her moves hold at you. And the, the hitbox on the bullets is very generous. You can, like, be hitting her from across the map, even though, like, look at this. I'm, like, all the way over here. And I can still hit her. Oh, I, I can see that there's a fine line. Like, I can't hit her here, but I can hit her here. Or can I? Whoa, okay. The fuck now I can't hit her at all? Okay, now I can The hitbox is very random. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the bullets just kind of go wherever the fuck they want, and you can't really tell where the hell they're going. But it's just nice that if you hold her attacks, and if they're in the immediate vicinity, they're taking damage. Which is, like, kind of nuts to think about. Like, I, I could be whiffing moves in the corner over here, and she's getting hurt for my stupidity. Uh, even though the damage is minimal, still, it's something. It's kind of crazy. Uh, so let's get into her special move. So now, um, neutral B is just shoot the shit. Literally. And if you keep mashing it, she switches to legs. And then goes back into arms. And then goes right back into legs. Uh, yeah. But um, if you hold it, they are really powerful shots. It's pretty sweet. And it, they kind of go like diagonal upward, which is nice. But you can't aim these at all. You can't, like, make her shoot 
above or behind. Like, she only shoots in forward up motion. Uh, this is her side smash, or I mean, side special. It's a uh, crazy slide. Whoa, slip and slide. And if you hold it, it combos into an up hit, which you would have seen if she had less percent. Uh, see, like that. So that's fucking great for combos. And I imagine, just a guess, I haven't tested it, but I'm pretty sure this slide uh, goes under projectiles. I, I would think it would. And I'm going to assume that it does because it looks like it does and it would be in a, uh, you know, a good move for that reason. So that's that. Uh, her down smash is Witch Time, which is her version of a counter. But instead of being a counter and just attacking, uh, it slows down time for your enemy and then you, you're you in free roam and you can do whatever the hell you want to them. Uh, I'll try to showcase it by getting the CPU to fight me. Come on. Do it. Do anything. There we go, see? Oh, well. Okay. That was weird. I barely had any time to punish. Oh, right! There's that mechanic. If you do witch time, at the perfect time, you'll friggin' phase out of existence. And I don't get I don't really get what the point of that is, but God damn it. Be predictable, Corinne. Hit me. There you go. But I don't really get time to punish, so that's odd. It doesn't like put her in a stu- oh, maybe it does, I don't know. I, I have to mess around with it more, because I don't really understand fully how it works. Uh, oh god! Okay. We're good. But, yeah, like, it's supposed- oh, I think there's like a mechanic to it, but I can't remember how it works. Like, there's a way to get them to be slowed in time. I think maybe if I mash it like this, um, I lose the slow-mo. Whereas if you perfectly time it and only do it like once every, like occasionally, uh, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. That's how you get the slow mo. And then they're slowed and you can do whatever you want to them. <clears throat> pretty sure that's how it works, if I remember correctly. If I'm wrong about that, you could just watch the Bayonetta trailer when she got revealed and it tells you how it works. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Sadly, I don't have another player to test it on because I'm just here by myself. Uh, and then we have her up smash. Or, I mean, up smash. Fucking Jesus, I'm getting my smashes and specials mixed up. Uh, you have her up B. As you can see, it barely goes anywhere. And at first I thought it was the most garbage up B ever in the game. But here's the, here's the thing that makes it freaking sweet, okay? You can jump after doing it. So you could be like, jump, up B, jump, up B. It's fucking nuts if you think about it. Bayonetta's got so much going for her, but <laughs> I use the double jump. Uh, okay, so be like, uh, uh, and then yeah, see? You can like get up from really far down. And on top of uh, being able to jump between up B's, you can side B as well. So you could like get pretty crazy with it. Like, let's say. I'm all the way out here. Oh, look. Oh, I made it back. Crazy, I know. It's fucking nuts. But, uh, yeah, so her up B is a great combo tool because you can throw lots of crazy stuff in between it and in the middle of it, and it's pretty awesome. So you could get really technical with that. So let's say, um, well, actually, I'll get into combos in a bit, but, um, Let's get into grapples, because I didn't show grapples yet. So her down grab... Uh, actually, let me put her to zero. Uh, I haven't... Like, the only thing I can really notice you get off of down grab is, like, her jabs and uh, tilt attacks. And I'm not even sure if those are true combos. I, like, it looks like Corinne recovers before I can even attack, so I have no idea if this is even a true combo. But, uh... You can also think about, like, doing smashes. 
but yeah, I I'm not even sure if those are uh, for sure combos. Like this looks like one. Oh, she was a bit too high there. But yeah, the smash attacks take a little while to come out. I would try comboing with the, uh, with the jab buttons. But again, I'm not even sure if uh, if that's comboing. I don't think it is, honestly. It seems like it comes out too slow. And if that's the case, her, her down uh, grab freaking sucks. I, I would imagine it does combo. But um, what I think most people are going to be doing is her up grab because you can combo off of it, like for sure. So you'll want to up grab, jump quickly, and then do her forward ace in midair. So that this is the grab you're going to see everyone using, I think. Because her down grab doesn't seem to have the same effect. Oops. And you can pretty much do anything off of the up grab. Like you could up tilt. Oops, that's down grab. Forward. Okay, I'm being a little slow on that. But yeah, as you can see, you can neutral A. I think you could back A too, if you could do it in time. Yeah, like that. Not sure if that combos. I would think that wouldn't, because it takes forever to come out. But uh, yeah, her up tilt, or I mean, Jesus Christ, I can't, I can't get this shit right. Uh, her uh, up grab is the combo one, so that's the one you're going to want to do. For most characters, the combo grab is the down grab, but for Bayonetta, I am really not sure if that even combos. So I would just go with her up grab all the time, because it does combo. Uh, her forward grab sends them really far away. And same with her back grab. There's not really much you can do off of it. Try shooting the shit out of them, but they kind of land a bit too quickly for that. Oh, the forward grab actually goes well into uh, guns. Like, they perfectly angle. Okay, so that's something you could do off a forward grab, which is pretty nice. Like, let's see how much damage you get for doing that. Forward grab into guns. Oh, okay, so it only works at the higher percentages. Because she falls too fast. Yeah, see? But still, the damage on that's great. Like, damn. Get a lot for that grapple. You just can't do it at 0%, because as you can see, she falls too fast. Oh, I just proved myself wrong. Turns out I'm too slow. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, okay. So it does work. At zero percent. So yeah, her forward grab, if you want to be safe and just go into guns, or if you want to combo off up grab, up to you. You can get super creative with that shit. Pretty sweet. Whoa. Oh yeah. Now, now that we've gone through her moveset, that's all her moves. Uh, we shall get into combos, which I've already been touching up from grabs, but, uh, yeah, like, you could do, this is where Bayonetta truly shines, this is where, the, the re like, this is the reason you want to pick her, she's easily the, the strongest combo character in the game, because she has so many different combos, almost everything she does can combo off each other, and you could get super creative. There's so much room here to be creative. You could do some crazy shit. It's awesome. And so I'm going to try and show you guys some stuff. So here's some standard shit. Forward tilt into forward air. Very easy combo to do. But you could get super creative with that shit. Like this. You could do an up B after that. Go like this. Side B. Actually, I didn't have another upbeat. Hang on. Oh, I didn't. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. You can't upbeat again if you upbeat off the. Fl oh no, it's okay. You can't upbeat again after side B. That's the ruling. Okay. Oops. Didn't want to smash. Okay, so it seems like that's a combo in itself, and then it's done after that. 
Another nice one is like, let's say I'm right about the side B going under projectiles, and let's say he's spamming projectiles, you could like slide right under him, oh, 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 do some crazy stuff. You could get really creative, like it's awesome, super cool. And like, this is what Bayonet is all about, doing the crazy shit, so can you like, zigzag with side B? Like, I've seen videos where you could go back and forth, but maybe they like took that out. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's that. You can also like at zero percent, you'd be like down tilt, up tilt, up B, side B. Oh my god! And then back air. Ooh, that works. So let's try that again. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, back air. That is sick. That is so sick. Look at that, 40% off one combo, and the combo's flashy as hell, it's awesome, it looks stylish, Dante would be proud. Oh, I haven't even showed off Bayonetta's awesome, amazing taunts yet, so let's take a moment to do that. Oh yeah, ask your mother! And uh, then we got... That's her shortest one. All her taunts are kind of like crazy long. And then her down taunt is my personal favorite one because she just goes all out with that shit. Look at that. Fancy as fuck. <laughs> <It's awesome. laughs> um, but yeah, so back to combos. Um, there's not really much I could see that you can do off the jabs except maybe guns. Aw, oh, so sick. So sick. You, you can do such crazy stuff with this character. I love it. Mmm, and then guns. Oh, oh, she wasn't high enough percent. Boom! And the guns, yes. Oh. It, oh my god, the, the possibilities with this character are limitless, and I'm only touching the surface here. Like, there's probably some crazy-ass combos that I don't even know. This is shit I'm just learning on the fly. Uh, you know, you could also go into guns off dash attack, which is pretty cool. Or you could be like, uh, up smash. I think that works, actually. Oh, but it only works at low percent. Yeah. Or actually, wait, I think, I think the hitbox hits from, like, really far away. Oh, sweet. Mm. Yeah, get down there. You ain't coming back. This character is just so freaking fun and awesome and amazing, as you can see. Uh, there's still a lot I need to learn about her. This is just stuff I've learned from the short time I've been playing in the training mode. But, yeah, excuse me. So this is, uh, this is Bayonetta. She seems fun as fuck. Uh, you know, her combos are crazy, which is really cool. Uh, you know, actually, I wanted to say this at the beginning of the video, but I kept forgetting. Bayonetta is like the perfect example, like the the thing I can relate her best to is PlayStation All-Stars. If, if anyone watching this has ever played that game, I know it was kind of a trash game, but her combos feel a lot like PlayStation All-Stars combos because this is the only character that like can do like moves into succession like this, like stuff like that. It's interesting how she bounces off the wall when she side bees into the corner like this. Interesting. But yeah, guys, so, uh, so far my thoughts on Bayonetta from what I've, in the short amount of, uh, time that I've learned stuff, um, she seems, she seems alright. I don't think she's gonna be high tier, though, um, which is fucking hilarious because I thought she was a for sure god tier when I saw her trailer. But they actually balanced her pretty well, because I noticed, like, a lot of her moves come out slowly, and the hitbox on them whiffs a lot of the time. I still think she's going to be very strong, like, probably A tier, uh, just because of her combos and for sure damage output. It's, it's really nice, but, you know, then you got her weaknesses, which are her um, smash attacks that barely cover anywhere around her. Which makes, uh, you know, you have to be very selective with your attacks. And then you got the slow 
unique moves to come out. Like back back tilt's good, but you know there's that there's that like half a second delay before it comes out. Same with neutral air. Same with up air. They don't come out instantly. So, but I I definitely think bayonet is going to be strong. I just don't think she's going to be, um, you know, like chic or zero suit level. I, I she's really good. I think, like, it's very possible I'm totally wrong and she'll be S tier. And I wouldn't be surprised if I am wrong. Uh, I, you know, like I said, I've only touched the surface here. I've barely seen uh, a portion of everything that Bayonetta can do. So, you know, it's very possible that there's a lot I don't even know with her. But I just wanted to make this video for you guys as a quick analysis to see what she's all about. And yes, there is a huge learning curve. She feels like nothing you've ever played before. She's unlike any character. But again, if you played PlayStation All-Stars and you're familiar with that game, then Bayonetta will feel familiar to you and you'll be able to learn her. At least that's my opinion on it. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. That'll be the moveset analysis for Bayonetta. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you haven't seen my Corinne analysis, go check that out because I covered Corinne as well. And that'll be on my channel. And if you like what I'm doing here, covering the Smash Bros. characters, you can go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I got some really cool stuff on my channel. I do stuff like this all the time. And I also upload matches, uh, which I will be doing tons of matches for Bayonetta and Corinne in For Glory. So if you want to see what that's like and Bayonetta in real time, live action, maybe get some ideas of how to play her in a real match, get some real experience, you can go ahead and check that out on my channel as well. But anyways, I've taken up enough of you guys' time. Thank you for watching. And that'll be Bayonetta. See you guys next time.